not too too crazy about these laces. I'll probably switch them out just for the standard ones. You know, I'm more of a simple type of guy. So big shout out to Stadium Goods for lacing me with these two pairs of Sakai's. You guys know that I dress pretty simple for the most part. I'm not into stuff that's too loud. So uh, I ordered two different pairs of shoes off the website. And for anyone that knows me or who's been walking with me for a while, who's been watching my vlogs, you guys know that I've been rocking with Stadium Goods. Every single time I go to New York City, I always pull up there. I've bought a lot of shoes from them and I just caught two pairs off their website. The white ones that you just saw, just, can I please shoot this for these shoes? These are a pair of shoes that you can definitely see me rock like all the time because they're just clean and simple and pretty straightforward and to the point. As you guys can see, I'm rocking a unreleased. This is actually a throwback Big Dreamers crew neck. If you guys know, you know. And actually this would probably go perfect. Just a pair of like black pants, black sweats or something like that and I'd rock these with this look clean. So. Shout out Stadium Goods. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description below. Shop now, grab all your sneakers there, all your needs. They have literally everything from stuff that's super simple, low key, cheaper prices to obviously the super, super rare. Everything on that website, guaranteed 100% authentic. And lucky enough for everyone watching this right now, myself and Stadium Goods have partnered together with a chance for you guys to win $1,000 in a gift card. It's really, really simple. All you guys gotta do is, number one, subscribe to Stadium Goods. Number two, follow Stadium Goods on Instagram. Number three, follow Stadium Goods Women, also on Instagram. Number four, you gotta follow my Instagram. And number five, it's as easy as that. All you gotta do is comment down below and you could win $1,000 gift card from Stadium Goods. You could end up buying the same two pairs of shoes that I just showed you guys today. You could get yourself something else. And the winner will be announced in two weeks from today. So best of luck to everyone. Stay safe, stay home, and yeah. You're not recording me. Why? Hey, sauce it One, two, three, four, five. Everyone, we are in the kitchen. We're in the Bentley estate. We're in the kitchen right now. As you can see, we got the Giuseppe and Luca going on today. So, all right, let's cut some chives. A little bit of dill. Carrots are going in. Go ahead and close that bad boy up. Let them roast, and then we're gonna add some miso at the end. You know, just to. Bring them to life a little bit, you know? Deboned, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of paprika, pretty much just salt, pepper, and we're just gonna add a little bit of flour, pan sear this tonight. Do a little bit of a surf and turf style dinner. All right, so as you guys can see, we got the steak going right now. We got the carrots in the oven. Kai's got the sweet potato in the oven. We got the fish still marinating. We're gonna do the fish last because that's the quickest to cook. And I'm gonna watch over the steak and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. You got a flipper of fish? Can you help me flipper of fish? Flipper of fish, flipper of fish. Yeah. Got damn fried fish for you guys. It's not about how it looks, it's about how it tastes. This is going to taste absolute perfection right here. It's a lot of fucking meat. I don't know. All right, so as you guys can see, full dinner laid out here. Got some Wagyu beef steak here. There's a New York strip one Wagyu. 
And then we got a little bit of just uh, halibut that's been lightly floured and seared in the pan with like a lemon compote. Okay, so basically this is- Wow, Asian the lighting's pear. really good right here. Um, we got an Asian pear right here, but I was just asking V, does this not look like it's floating? Okay, you can't do that. <laughs> It literally looks like you're playing with the pear. It looks like it's floating to me. The fluidity. Could you have this type of fluidity? I, I just know you're, like, I know you're joking. Okay. Um, okay, so finish. you do it. I'm being honest. Do that. Do, <laughs> do it. This. Oh, look, get it fucking going, bro. Come on, bro. Do a little fucking right, jump, next. bro. Come on, bro. Get the rhythm. The rhythm. The feel. It's a feeling, don't think, feel. And that is how you do it. I'd be a good magician. You Here I have two lemons. Now I have one lemon. <laughs> now I have no lemons. And now, three. All right, so. What up everyone? We're just chilling right now, you know, doing a little just, you know, quarantine. And uh, I was just like, yo, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I was never one of those people to ever be like, yo, I, I could ever do one of those couples challenge videos because I just find them insanely cringe. But nice. anyways, it was funny. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna ask her a bunch of questions. She's gonna ask a bunch of questions. And then basically we just have to say who's more likely or who, you know. So first question is who initiated the first date? Stop looking, like just stop looking. You already know, fam? Are you dumb? That's not true. That is very not true, yes, in fact. Of course I initiated the first date. Aw, that's so sweet. <laughs> this one played games though. I will tell you guys that right now. I really didn't took, think... took some time to get this one out of the house. Usually if I just don't feel like someone's interested back, yeah. then I'll just be like, okay, I'm not gonna waste my time, but you just would post it sometimes that that would just make me like laugh and shit. <laughs> so I was like, okay, yo, like, I just feel like if I actually hung out with this girl, like, apart from the fact that you're so pretty, I was like, I just knew that I would have a good time with you. And then we just hung out once. And then ever since then, it was just smooth sailing. Okay, I'm gonna find <laughs> Second question is, who made the first move? No, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Right. I'm telling you, you did. I know. I wouldn't make it up. I would admit it right here. You leaned in for the makeup. Just gotta say it, you know, and I ain't mad at it one bit. I will be very <laughs> real with you right now. <sighs> Who okay. keeps the room messier? No. Stop. What do I do? It's just like. Like, I keep like you'll straight. have like you'll have just like clothes like on your side of the bed like on the floor like I just don't have like random clothes on the floor. Yeah, because like it like it gets hot, so I'm just like and I say. Yeah, but there. why can't you just like fold it and like put it like in a drawer or like maybe if it's like if you were like if I had intention to ever use clothing that was like next to the bed, I would fold it and like have it in an area. I just like hate mess, bro. It's just because I go to sleep in the morning. You know, sometimes I leave it there. Sometimes. Okay, Levi. Like this. You, you do clean, like, you clean the kitchen every night after I cook. You do an amazing job cleaning. I will say that. When she cleans and, like, goes in and, like, the sides are properly clean, like, she really fucking does a proper clean job. Okay, and now, I, one thing now I, have I to can say, admit, now I can admit that I'm, I keep the room messy. One thing that I found very attractive about her was that, like, despite, like, how pretty you are, I feel like a lot of people would assume that a lot of girls that are really pretty, like, don't like to get their hands dirty, but it's, like, you just don't care like to get your hands dirty like if you got to get a job done i was just like okay yo it's your specs yeah yeah so next question is who says sorry first wait i need to think about this honestly oh, it's tough i don't even know whatever i could say me like i was gonna say you okay respects like i can get like pissed pretty quick but at the same time like I know if I'm when I'm wrong, like it doesn't take me long for me to be like, okay, fuck, yo, you're right. Yeah. You know. No, I feel like. But like, I'm just almost, I'm just almost never, I'm, I'm always right though. Are you a hog? <laughs> Are you a hog? Or Who is more emotional? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whatever. Sweet, you're not gonna All right, I'm it out. 
You hear, you don't, I'm not allowed to cut that out. Who is more health conscious? She only tries to eat junk food and yeah. you still look amazing and you could probably eat junk food every day and look amazing but yeah. it's just fucking about taking care of your insides and that's what I always try to tell her. Yeah, you and know? I've been eating a lot more healthier since, you have been. you know? You know, I don't want to say like since I like first met you but like, fuck, I don't want to say that. <laughs> what? Since you met me? Yeah. That you eat a lot healthier now? Yeah. And you eat more, for sure. Yeah. You eat more. I just felt like, healthier. Yeah. because like I would eat and I just like wouldn't feel hungry and then like when I met Levi, like he explained to me why that's like, you should still eat even though you don't feel it because it's just, you know. Because we would always go out for dinner and stuff and then she just wouldn't eat as much as she should and then I was just like, yo, like. Yeah, and you start noticing, you just slowly start noticing. And I literally was like, no, like, we're going to eat. And she's like, I'm not hungry. I'm like, no, we're going to eat. And then Yeah, I feel like that's, that's like something that like made me like you, yeah. you know? So that pretty much wraps it up for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. Now, as some of you might have seen in my last video, 56% of you guys that are watching my videos are not subscribed. And since I mentioned that, I went up like over 2,000 subscribers from the moment that I posted that video up until now, which is way faster than I've seen any growth. So please continue to subscribe. I appreciate all of you who have shown me support. Just know that the t-shirts and the hoodies and all that stuff is on the way. I finally just sent out the rest of the Trinity boxing hoodies. Basically what happened was that the company who produces my t-shirts just shut down mid-production because of the coronavirus. And then I was just left like scrambling trying to find another company that'd be able to do it for me. And just the whole thing was a huge nightmare. So I just want to honestly say thank you to everyone who's been patient and who's been supportive of the fact that I've been going through this whole mess. And I'm literally supposed to get the rest of them tonight, which means I'll have them all sent out by Monday. And you guys will get them very, very soon. But go subscribe. We're still at like 56% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So that needs to change. And I promise you guys one thing right now. We are on the road to 100K subs. We're getting close to 90. I promise you if I can hit 100k by middle of next month, I have a great I'll do like the craziest surprise planned video for you guys and it's already in my head But I just don't want to reveal it But I know this video is gonna get a bunch of views So so all I need is everyone who's watching this video to subscribe and there should be no reason why I can't deliver you guys a crazy surprise 100k sub video so in the meantime everyone hope everyone is staying safe Hope everyone is staying home of course stay healthy stay positive stay blessed I'll check back in with you guys very, very soon. Peace. Oh, I promise you ain't got like 20 bands. Let's be honest. I could start another wave and you want it. Rockstar lifestyle, know you want it. I know you want it. Oh, I promise you ain't got like 20 bands.